Good afternoon on this Friday, August 31st, and thank you for tuning in to the latest tropical weather update from 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app. Starting with the latest tropical weather outlook, you can see that we have two tropical cyclones out there in the Atlantic. One is Hurricane Kirk, but this one is moving to the northeast away from land, and we also have Tropical Storm Leslie located to the east of the Lesser Antilles. More on those storms in just a moment, but I would also like to show the remnants of Hurricane Isaac starting to move out of Arkansas and into central Missouri where a lot of isolated severe weather and steady rain is expected. And this storm is still ushering in a lot of moisture along the Gulf Coast states, so we also cannot rule out more isolated showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening. We also still have the risk of an isolated tornado across much of the lower Mississippi Valley, extending northward into Missouri and even the Ohio Valley, so please keep up with the latest watches and warnings from the Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service. As of 3.45 p.m. Eastern Time, a tornado watch is in effect from near St. Louis, Missouri, down toward the south near Jonesboro, Arkansas. And with Isaac finally starting to move out of the picture, we are going to have to focus more so on what is going on across the Atlantic in terms of other tropical cyclones. This is a look at the latest forecast track for Hurricane Kirk. It currently has maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour, but thankfully this one is forecast to continue moving northeast and also remain to the north of the Azores Islands. Kirk is likely to become extra tropical within four to five days. But regardless, it could provide northern Europe with more in the way of shower activity during that time. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Leslie has a slightly greater chance of impacting land as a classified tropical cyclone. As of the 11 a.m. Eastern Time Advisory from the National Hurricane Center, winds are up to 65 miles per hour. It's moving toward the west-northwest at 17 miles per hour, and it's forecast to be a borderline Category 1 or a Category 2 hurricane as it starts to slow down to the south and south southeast of Bermuda next Tuesday and Wednesday. The latest visible satellite shows Hurricane Kirk moving toward the northeast, but more importantly here is a look at Tropical Storm Leslie, and Leslie does look fairly well defined, although it is currently battling some northeast vertical wind shear, and that is the reason why the low level surface circulation appears to be displaced to the northeast of some of the greater convection, which is located more so toward the southwest quadrant of the storm. As we take a look at the enhanced infrared, you can see that convection is blossoming fairly well near the surface circulation, so steady intensification is to be expected despite the marginal wind shear. And the water vapor is going to tell us more so what is happening with the steering pattern, and we can see that we do have a very amplified trough out across the western Atlantic, and if this trough were to remain here, then there would be no question that Leslie would have to turn north in advance of the trough and likely miss Bermuda to the east, as it moves out to sea. However, the latest dynamical model guidance is showing at least that the first trough will miss the storm, and that is why we will still have to pay a lot of attention to Leslie over the next week or so. The current mid to upper level steering pattern across the United States will have major implications on the track of Tropical Storm Leslie in four to five days. And as we take a look at the latest water vapor, you can see that the trough is anchored out across the West Atlantic, just like we saw with the previous animation and we are still dealing with the remnants of Isaac trying to push toward the north. However, the initial trough is also going to miss Isaac, and Isaac is going to be left out across the Midwest until another trough approaches from the Midwest or Southwest Canada. Now, what's going to be interesting is just how quickly the remnants of Isaac starts to move toward the northeast. If it lingers out across the central United States for longer than expected, then it could also keep the main core of troughing out across the central United States, and a trough more so across the central U.S. would implicate a more westerly track of Leslie versus a trough that is anchored out across the eastern seaboard. The latest ECMWF forecast can show what I'm talking about a little better. This is what the current 500 millibar height field along with the sea level pressure looks like. And as we go into 24 and 48 hours, you can see that the remnants of Isaac are still situated over southern Illinois while the trough that is currently over the western Atlantic is starting to lift out toward the northeast. As this trough moves away, we will start to see a return in the ridging between 20 and 25 degrees north latitude, and any ridging to the north of Tropical Storm Leslie could keep the storm on a slightly more west-northwest or northwest track versus being recurved to the northeast and away from land altogether. And as we go into 72 and 96 hours, you can see that the trough is continuing to move northeast, and we do have more ridging established over Bermuda, 
and whatever is left of Isaac is forecast to slowly start moving toward the east northeast toward Pennsylvania and West Virginia but if by some chance the remnants of Isaac were located a little more toward the west still at this time then that could help keep the advancing trough starting to show up near the Dakotas more so out of the central United States but as of right now by day five and day six this trough is forecast to continue to slide more so toward the northeast and New England states and as long as the models have the current trough located in the correct position in six to seven days then that should allow for the storm to recurve to the east of the United States but at the same time here by day seven this is a developing hurricane immediately to the south of Bermuda so at the very least all interest across the island needs to be paying attention to the tropics over the next week or so and finally as we go into day eight this second trough is starting to pick up Leslie and that's going to induce more of a northerly and northeasterly turn as we go into days 9 and day 10. The 12Z run of the GFS model is showing a similar synoptic pattern. Here's a look at Tropical Storm Leslie situated east southeast of Puerto Rico at this time. The first trough is going to eject out of the western Atlantic but it will leave an upper level low to move westward out across southern Florida. It's also going to be interesting to see how that upper level low affects things in the models over the coming period. But just like with the European model, it does show the trough or the second trough advancing into the Mid-Atlantic and New England states. And as long as this trough is still here, then that should be able to weaken the ridging out across the West Atlantic at this time. And then Leslie should turn toward the Northeast. But we're still going to have to closely watch what the synoptic pattern is going to look like in future model runs. So just to recap, the remnants of Isaac are falling apart out across the central U.S., but there is still the isolated tornado threat today. Hurricane Kirk is already embedded within troughing, so it's moving northeast and away from land. But the main storm to watch over the next week will be Tropical Storm Leslie, especially for interest out across Bermuda, as there is a good chance that Leslie will be fairly close to the island within the next five to seven days. And thereafter, the chances of a direct impact along the U.S. East Coast are fairly low, but all interest from the Carolinas northward should still be keeping up with the weather over the next week, just in the event that the GFS and European synoptic forecast patterns were to shift a little bit and we see more in the way of ridging out across the West Atlantic in the extended range. So thank you again for following 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app. We're still getting back into the daily routine of these tropical weather updates as we have been extensively covering Isaac from the impact area along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Hopefully you've liked our content over the past week or so as we've put a lot of emphasis in the Isaac coverage and we're going to go ahead and do the same with any of the upcoming threats here for the remainder of hurricane season 2012.